A new restaurant recently opened in Norristown, and its mission is to create a welcoming and inclusive experience to empower all people, including those with disabilities and their families. PHL 17's Alyssa Sullivan joins us live in the newsroom this morning with the story. Hey, Alyssa. Kelsey and Amanda, this is really a very tremendous story. This new restaurant was designed specifically to provide all people, including those with disabilities, with equal and inclusive opportunities to work, dine, socialize, volunteer, and of course, learn. My visit there was incredibly humbling and beautiful. Take a look. Here you go. Well, thank, thank you. you. A local nonprofit recently opened a new concept in Norristown, a cafe that's goal is to be as inclusive as possible to all who dine there. This is Shannon Dwyer. She's a server at the So Much to Give Cafe a few days a week. Hi, I'm Shannon. What would you like to order? The cafe has 60 employees and counting. 60% of those employees have a diagnosed disability. Together, the employees learn how to do the roles of the restaurant, whether they're working at the cafe during operating hours as a server or dishwasher, or visiting the cafe as part of a work skills school program to learn things like rolling silverware or setting a table. My favorite thing about working here is when it's really easy to clean off the food off the dishes and that the very last things to do at the, at the end of the day. I would bring the, them their food. I would come in to work and I like to see my friends and I would make new friends. Tyler, who's the general manager of the cafe, says the growth that he sees from his employees make it all worth it. Shan, let's pretend, let's pretend a customer wanted a hamburger. Okay. It's insane, incredible. Every single day I come in and it's like something has just clicked and they have learned so much more about the position every single shift and we've only been going for about two months now and everybody's just so excited to come you walk in and everybody's like hey guys hey zach hey em, how are you doing uh where's my ipad i want to get going i need a table the idea all started with maureen stanko in 2013, she saw on the news that there were 20,000 adolescents with autism in Pennsylvania that there was no programming for when they turned 21. It made her think of her son, Nicholas, who has autism. She felt that that was her call to do something about it. I was laying in bed at night one night and I was worrying, what am I going to do with my son when he ages out? And I thought of a saying my dad said, and that was, pray like hell, then get up off your knees and do something. I came up with this concept, so much to give, because my son Nicholas has so many gifts and talents and I wanted to find a way to manifest them into the world. Maureen contacted a woman she only knew through Facebook, Kathy Opperman, who runs a local nonprofit. Kathy loved the idea and offered Maureen a building to use for free, but they wanted to dream bigger. Together with Nick's therapist, Tyler, Maureen and Kathy decided to open a restaurant. I said, Let's make this happen. And as I came to learn more about the special needs community, I heard things like they don't have anywhere to go to dine or to socialize without being stared at. Some of the families have been asked to leave restaurants because their children make noise. Together, the trio raised $150,000 from the community to open. The goal was always to kind of create a place in the community for everybody to come and see all the abilities of people. It doesn't matter who you are, what your background is, if you have a diagnosis, if you don't, we want a place in the community that just is open and free for everybody to come and explore the abilities of everyone else. I might cry because now his school is bringing him here twice a week and he's practicing learning how to peel potatoes and do all the things that he needs to learn and he'll get a job here during off hours as a sous chef. I have a, an 18 year old who is autistic and I've been so involved in that community so that to be able to come here and be able to serve that community in a whole different light is really, really cool. I've worked in so many restaurants where so many people are so dour and so upset all the time. And when you work with people who are really genuinely excited to be here and about the job that they do, it's impossible to have a bad day. Well, the restaurant is officially open for business. You can learn more and make your reservations at pillarsoflightandlove.org slash so much to give cafe. Kelsey and Amanda. Oh, Alyssa, I love this story so much. Yeah, it seems like a really great place. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Alyssa.